Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Nerd a Day Podcast. I'm your host, Carlos Rodriguez, your doctor recommended dose of nerdiness, aka your nerd a day. How are you? I hope you're well. I hope you're just in jubilation. Is that how you use it? Jubilee? I'm thinking about X-Men a lot. Sorry, Elite recently. <laughs> Uh, I'm, it's very Marvel themed. We got the Miles Morales shirt right now. Our episode is about one of my favorite Marvel games. We're finally doing a review. You know, stuff that I promised in 2022. We're gonna, you know, we, we pushed it off to 2023. But so, listen, we're we're doing it. And you know, if this is your first podcast that you're listening to in a while, yeah, there, there's been you know some other stuff happening. Now, the podcast is not the only thing for audio listeners. You go to youtubecom slash today You can see me start my playthrough series of Marvel's midnight suns another marvel thing uh my demo reaction to forespoken and my demo reaction to one piece odyssey over there youtube.com slash nerd today and you know that's not your thing you want to still support me you know five stars subscribe do all that stuff on both anyway and uh there's my little twitter handle right there and don't forget you know you can help me monetarily as well on patreon.com slash nerd today like these fine folk right here like hopefully awesome Jeff Felsh, Susan, Raspass, and Brandon. That's right. If you want to help me out and help get this lovely PC over here that you cannot see, but I'm pointing it right there. It's really nice. I did it myself. Well, my wife helped me a lot, actually. So I wasn't yelling at my PC. Um, <laughs> you know, and, you know, some new monitors and stuff like that. You know, that a little bit goes along. Even a dollar helps so much. You have no idea. But, that is the whole Patreon thing and all the rigmarole. We are talking about something special today. We are talking about Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy game. Amazing series. Amazing, like, adaptation. But we're going to get to that more in the review, which starts right now. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Developed by Idos Montreal and published by Square Enix. Played on a PlayStation 5 Digital. Thank you, Susan. Gameplay. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy is a third-person action-adventure game where you take control of Peter Quill, a.k.a. Star-Lord, as he and the rest of the Guardians get into their usual shenanigans. Players have access to Star-Lord's elemental guns, as with attacks ranging from play plasma for fire, ice, wind, and lightning. You can also command your teammates to do one of four actions as they progress. And... A devastating call to action attack that's if you pep your teammates with a rousing speech there are collectibles to get and branching dialogue options although they are cool and give more backstory to your team they do not affect the overall ending of the game this is going to be our little spoiler section that we do with nerd day reviews and if you haven't yet played marvel's guardians of the galaxy i do recommend the game uh if you don't want to know any story spoilers I would skip ahead a little bit right now. Guardians tells an entertaining and unique tale that has enough to satiate fans of the comics, movies, and TV shows. There is enough of the Guardians you know and love mixed with Eidos's version. They also do a good job of showcasing the cosmic side of the Marvel Universe, whether it's Cosmo the Space Dog, the Nova Corps, Fing Fang Foom, and even Adam Warlock. It, e it weaves such a fun and captivating tale. I also love both the comedic and dramatic purposes the storyline uh, takes with Peter. Um, like, for instance, Peter might be Nikki, a new character introduced in the game's dad. The false ending was fun as well, and a great sense that you can tell that something was off and you're not necessarily beating the game. Everything doesn't feel copacetic and almost too nightly, night, nicely packed. It was decent. I thought that was really fun to do. Now for the negative. One of the only negative things I can think of, it's it's fairly mundane when it comes to gameplay and controls. It seemed very repetitive, and but it's not really deal breaking. As I mentioned, you do get to play as Peter Quill and you get to you mainly stick to him. You do call out actions to Rocket or Groot, Gamora, or maybe another party member that you might have with you. But those are cool as you level them up and do stuff, but it does get a little repetitive. Like, oh, we got a bunch of guys, Groot. Do this attack that like grabs them all. All right, rocket, hit them with your you know super big attack that we unlock. You know it does get a little repetitive, but it does serve the purpose of moving you along the game 
to get to the main story parts. And I mentioned this before in other Nerd Day reviews, story is king for me. Gameplay always takes a second seat. So as long as gameplay is fun enough, and this is, it's serviceable to progress the story and get to the meat and potatoes that I like, specifically in gaming, which is story. Overall, I had a blast with Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. As I mentioned earlier, the story, attention to detail, character arcs, and heart made for a very enjoyable experience. That's why I'm giving Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy a 4 out of 5, which is great on the Nerdy Day scale. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, my non-binary folk. That is my review of Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Again, I played it on PlayStation 5 Digital. Thank you again, Susan. I love you. Um... And I had a really good time. I was really shocked about the story. I thought the story was very serviceable and, and a good change of pace, as I mentioned earlier in the review. Um, they it wove its own tale while also kind of giving callbacks to, you know, previous Marvel cosmic storylines. If you happen to watch like the Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy cartoon on Disney XD or you know, it's on Disney Plus now. Uh, if you read the comics, if you watch the movies, you have a little bit of everything. While Idols Montreal got to make their own game. Uh, I kind of hope they get a new crack at it. I know Eidos Montreal specifically is owned by a new, you know, corporate conglomerate. And I don't know how that works. If they, you know, if coach media, coach media or whatever, you know, gets to be like, Hey Marvel, you know, they worked on this. So like technically we own them now, so we can work on this. I don't know how that works, but I would like to see another Marvel, you know, guardians game. As long as the story's there, um, I really did enjoy it. And I'd like to see more of what this iteration of the Guardians gets to do, especially, you know, I'm, we're gearing up for this year's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Uh, we just saw the holiday special. I'm kind of in a very big Guardians moon. Uh, I've been actually been thinking about picking up the comics again. So let me know what you think down below or tweet at me. Uh, see that right there? That's my Twitter. <laughs> also at Hive, but you just take the underscores out. So it's at Nerdaday on everything but Twitter because... Some idiot has at nerd day, uh, but at, on Twitter, it's at nerd underscore a underscore day. <laughs> uh, and then, you know, until next time, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next review.